What's up guys? So after completing the hideout, I quickly realized what I would be prioritizing next wipe when I'm starting fresh. So in this video, I'm going to discuss why I want to prioritize getting to the library first. I want to give you the fastest build path to get it upgraded. If you have any additional questions after watching this video, I'm live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Twitch from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. So feel free to come by the stream, ask any questions that you have. Let's get straight into it. One of the things I enjoy about Tarkov is being able to have that slight gear advantage, giving me the maximum chance of surviving my raids. I'm also super competitive, so I will do whatever it takes to win. One of the key things to getting that gear advantage is having a higher level on average than anyone else. This allows you to unlock the gear from traders before other people are able to get there. And in order to level up, you need experience points. The hideout offers several options to maximize your experience that you gain in your raid, and those are the air filtration unit and the library. I'm gonna prioritize the library, but inherently after unlocking all the things required for the library, you also unlock the things required for the air filtration unit, so you can have the opportunity to build both at the same time. The library gives you a boost to experience points gained by 15% and also gives a boost to your practical skills gained by 30%. But you'll be also leveling up practical skills like covert movement, searching, and mag drills faster than anyone else when you have the library. From my experience, that covert movement practical skill is very, very, very useful. But being able to capitalize on the benefits of covert movement before anyone else will give you a huge advantage. That sound is a huge part of being able to succeed in Tarkov. Now, there are a lot of benefits to unlocking the library. However, it does take a lot of resources to unlock it. The library requires both heating and generator level three, which are both pretty high in the tier chain for the hideout. I will include a link to the wiki in the description below that gives you the build path order of everything for the hideout. I would recommend upgrading the rest space and the heating portion of this chain, prioritizing that build path because they are the only things in the chain that actually give some kind of practical benefit as you're upgrading, which are an increase in your health and energy regeneration rate, as well as a decrease in the negative effects removal rate, all of which are pretty useful early on. I've created a spreadsheet that lists out how much money you're going to need to do this, as well as the particular items that you will need to construct all the things in the chain leading up to the library and the air filtration unit. Taking a look at this list, you know which items you should be prioritizing when looting if you're going for this build path. And you also have an idea of where to go to find these items since we're narrowing it down to just the items needed for this path. From my experience, Interchange is the best place to get all the items for this build path. Specifically, the back shells behind Idea and Ollie are good places to find this, as well as the shells within Ollie itself. So that's it for this video. I hope you were able to get some information from it. And again, if you have any questions, I'm live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Twitch from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. And I'll be available to answer any questions that you have. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. I'll catch you all later.